Hello everybody, this is Fred Burke, also known as the Wholesale Mentor. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would like to speak to you a little bit about uh, how to achieve success and how you must take action to achieve success and why action achieves results. Um, success in any entrepreneurial endeavor is contingent on a simple truth. Learning does not always require thinking. Actually, thinking can sometimes hinder learning. Uh, hinder learning your thinking, that flies in the face of most of what we know, doesn't it? As a child, we were often reproached when we made mistakes, uh, you know, thinking and saying, you just weren't thinking. Dude, don't you ever think about what you're doing? Uh, then there's the most successful personal development book of all time telling us to do what? That's right, think and grow rich. True, it is a fantastic book and must read for success-minded people, but many of us get so tangled in thoughts that we can't get out of uh, get it out of our heads and take action required for success. Uh, Socrates, one of the greatest thinkers of all time, said, "Action equals knowledge. Action, not thinking, if is how we achieve results." Take playing the piano, for instance. Uh, we could think about playing the piano, but we will never become better until we start pecking away at the keys, right? Uh, if you're a, if you were to ask any accomplished pianist to think about what they are playing in the middle of a <clears throat> rapturous concert, the music would probably fall apart into a series of painfully disconnected notes. I know that myself as being a drummer and playing in bands uh, most of my life. Uh, fact is, if I had to think about <clears throat> what I was playing and what I had taught myself and what I was thinking of at the time and I was focusing on the song and what was coming next and where my hands were going next, if I had to seriously think about it, and it's happened before where I started thinking about it, oh, here comes this bump, or here comes this part of that part, and I've lost my space. Uh, I've, I've lost, you know, where I was. So uh, anyway, uh, same is true with typing. Ask a person who flawlessly types over 70 words a minute to think about the keystrokes, and you could probably watch the mistakes pile up. Uh, thinking hinders execution. Thinking can hinder success. Uh, the fact of the matter is we can intellectualize all we want, but until we take action, we will never accomplish anything. Uh, there's a mantra in the martial arts that says, ready, fire, aim. Simply put, this means take action and correct the action as you go. Uh, it is quite probable that many businesses never get out of the starting gate because of overthinking and overanalyzing. Uh, most people want all their ducks to be lined up in a row before they begin, or at least that's their excuse. Uh, they will never happen. Uh, the time will never be perfect. The key is to get started and then keep on keeping on. Uh, in the martial arts, again, students practice moves over and over again. They train their bodies to transcend thought and take action in the moment. Uh, imagine a trained martial art expert getting attacked on the street thinking, <clears throat> hmm, okay, I'm being attacked. Should I turn my body this way or should I turn my body the other way? Okay, now I have to trap the assailant's arms, tighten my fists, pull back, strike, uh, roundhouse, leg sweep, whatever it may be. Uh, of course, this is not what happens in the martial arts. The key in the martial arts is to act now. In spite of uh, the mind's tendency to analyze a situation, uh, the worst kind of thinking is fear of failure. That what-if disease what if I fail? What if people laugh at me? What if I lose all my money? What if, what if, what if? Fear is paralyzing. It stops the movement necessary for success. Fear weakens our resolve, cripples our creativity, and ultimately stagnates our success. Conversely, movement overcomes fear. When struck by fear, move. 